All right, guys, it's Friday, and so we're back with another episode of What the Fitness. Let's see who we've got this week. Thus far, it has been the Paul Saladino and Gary Brecca show the last few months. Oh, here's somebody new that's been sent to me. Aaron W. Reed. This guy's been sent to me a lot recently. Do you drink liquids that have food coloring in them? You know that food coloring is made with petroleum? You know that petroleum-based food coloring causes all kind of weird side effects? Some of them include symptoms like ADA, like loss of concentration, unable to focus, irritability, can't sit still. Like, is the color of the drink that necessary that you're willing to have all these side effects? And people say, oh, well, it's okay for you. The FDA wouldn't allow it. Bullshit, dude. These companies that make a ton of money pay the FDA to allow things to slip by and then they just put little black box on them or they put information on the website and saying, oh, this might cause cancer or it might this. cause these issues. Be smart. Go the natural route, especially with your food. There's enough things you're doing to your body. Don't be poisoning it with unnecessary chemicals. Do not ingest chemicals, says Aaron. He prefers to inject them. I'm sorry. I can't deal. Do I know for an absolute fact that he's on steroids? No, I don't know. I also can't be sure that there isn't a teacup orbiting Saturn, but I have a relatively large degree of confidence that there's not a teacup orbiting Saturn. So I always find it really funny when these guys who are like 250 pounds and absolutely shredded are talking about avoiding chemicals. Oh, okay. Um, okay. All right. As far as food colorings go, there's no good evidence that they cause any of the things he mentioned. Yes, they are chemicals. Yes, some of them sound super scary. Once again, there's also cyanide in apples. When it comes to toxins, the dosage makes the poison. In very low doses, which is what these are found in, your body just excretes them. By the way, I hope he doesn't use any supplements that have food colorings in them. I hope he doesn't sell any supplements that have food colorings in them. Maybe he doesn't, in which case, at least there's no hypocrisy there, good job. But I just find it kind of weird when people are talking about not ingesting chemicals when they inject them. It just seems hypocritical, weird, strange, lack of self-awareness, I don't know. Now I do, Appreciate his use of the F-bomb. We love saying on this channel. Highly approved. What I do not approve is the ridiculousness of the message to avoid chemicals when I am very confident that you are on enough anabolics to kill a rhinoceros. That just seems kind of weird to me, but hey, that's just me. All right guys, hope you liked the video. I'll catch you next week.